think that we have a duty to provide relief to those in need when we have an opportunity to do such. You know, we hold these positions and titles today, but I want to remind all my colleagues at the table, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done at the end of the day, what positions we've held, what titles we've held isn't going to matter. The question is going to be, what have you done to help others? And we have an opportunity today to do something to help our needy seniors <coughs> in the city. The line item 5, 4.06, provides a very modest, modest course of relief for our senior citizens. It asks us to look at a $4 billion budget and see if we can find $3.8 million. And yes, I said $4 billion because we have a $4 billion operating budget that this body controls. And yes, some of it's enterprise fund, but oftentimes we augment and supplement general fund activities and charge back and cross bill enterprise accounts because they're doing service delivery. They are, in many instances, they are. There's a couple of amendments coming up. So I would submit to you, yes, we have an opportunity to act on a four plus billion dollar operating budget. That's my point. And to ask this body to provide relief for senior citizens 65 years of age, a estimated $48 a year, that, that's the type of relief we're talking about, something in that ballpark. It's not outrageous at all. I would ask us to keep in mind that, yes, we can always say that we have to prepare for tomorrow. But there are senior citizens out there now that $48, $50 a year would help them pay the drainage fee, help them pay their water bill, help them maybe medication. They've paid their dues. They help build the city. You know, they help us get you know, to where we are today. This is an opportunity for us to help those people. Do all of them need it? Perhaps not. But by God, I can take you to enough neighborhoods in Houston where they are on fixed incomes, and to provide relief for them is a proper thing to do. I commend the previous administration, Mayor White's administration, those council members from back then, in 2004, they had the courage. They stepped up and said, you know what, our senior citizens, we're going to provide a 10% <laughs> increase in exemptions for four years in a row. And they did that. And they brought it to this $70,862. Well, we have an obligation now to raise it to $80,000. Why $80,000? My logic behind an $80,000 exemption is this. If you simply apply, you, you get a 20% exemption. You will anyway. All of us get that. that that's given. Taking it to $80,000 would allow a senior only $100,000 home to pay zero property taxes in the city of Houston. Because you're going to get the 20% exemption anyway if you are a senior citizen. You get that exemption off the top 20%. Raising it from $70,000 up to $80,000 will allow again a senior citizen living in Houston to own a $100,000 home and not pay property taxes to the city of Houston. I think that's reasonable. I think it's very modest. And I'm going to ask my colleagues to support and do the right thing. So you can stand up and say, you know, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, that question is asked, what have you done to help others? There's one more thing that you can say, you know what, I was on that council back then. When we made that move to help the needed seniors in the city of Thank you, I appreciate it.